Welcome back, friends. It's Mimi here for another read aloud. And you know, we are in the midst of Women's History Month, and we have another book here. This one is Dolly Parton. Do you know who Dolly Parton is? Well, if you are a country music fan, then you definitely know who she is. But did you know that she didn't come from wealth? Did you know that she gives back to her community? Let's find out about Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton from Little People Big Dreams, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vegara and illustrated by Daria Solak. Little Dolly grew up in the foothills of Tennessee's Great Smoky Mountains with her 11 siblings. A sibling is a sister or a brother. She didn't have much, but she was gifted with a lovely voice, and that was worth more than any treasure. This must be her family, her parents, and her siblings. She began to write songs on her guitar and perform them for whoever would listen. Singing barefoot on the front porch, Dolly dreamed of jumping on stage in high heels. Her uncle Bill was amazed by her talent and helped her to get started in the music business. Dolly was just 10 years old when she got a regular slot singing for a radio station, fitting it in alongside school. Wow, only 10 years old. When Dolly graduated from school, she moved to Nashville, the city of music. With her soulful voice and songwriting talent, she was ready to become a star. One day, standing outside a laundromat, Dolly met a young man named Carl, and they instantly fell in love. He became her anchor, and she, his never-ending excitement. But music was still her greatest love, so when Porter Wagner, a famous country entertainer, asked Dolly to sing with him, she didn't have to think twice. Her dreams are coming true, aren't they? Dolly topped the charts with Porter, but she also wrote many moving songs on the trials of being a woman and earned herself loyal fans. It was time for her to go solo. That means her career would be without a partner or a band. It would just be her. She became the most popular singer on the country music scene, but she dreamed of making as many people happy as she could. So she started to look for new adventures. Does that award look familiar? Mm -hmm. Oops. Dolly crossed over into pop music and sang with the most amazing artists of her time, like Kenny Rogers. With her unique voice and fabulous image, she became a total superstar. Kenny Rogers is a famous country singer as well. She loved wearing wigs and lots of makeup. Maybe some people thought it was too much, but children loved her look and she did too. Dolly decided to do something great for the children who loved her and started a special library that would send, that would send books to kids in need from her hometown to the other side of the world. Wow, talk about giving back. But Dolly didn't stop there. She built a theme park and became the most successful woman in show business. She now owns radio stations, TV channels, and record companies too. And after 50 years on stage, little Dolly has become the most respected country performer of all time. A larger than life living legend with a heart as big as her dreams. I'm sure you've seen her recently perform with Miley Cyrus. Dolly Parton, who was born in 1946. This is a timeline of some important events in her life. 
that you can read about if you get this book, as well as some of these other great books. Well, I hope you learned a little bit more about Dolly Parton today. She is one of the famous women for Women's History Month on our channel. Okay, so our Little People Big Dreams book on Dolly Parton, what did you think? I know that you must have gotten a lot of information out of this book. Did you know where she was born? Did you know all about the good that she does for our community? That's so important. That's why we're recognizing her. And she is an icon. She has been doing music for decades. And some of the most important music that we've listened to over the years came from this fabulous writer right here. So we'll see you next week for another read aloud. You're not going to want to miss who we're talking about next in our Women's History Month series. And it's not from our country. Mm, who could it be next? Tune in to find out. Like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.